Okay, last game for this day. Long live the queen. Let's get started. Hopefully, it's gonna be the same exact routing as last time, but we're actually gonna figure out why it broke. So Pops is gonna have to figure out how to edit this. Good luck, Pops. Okay. Counting. Counting. Done. Sneak out. Cool. Week two. Accounting, accounting. Let her stay. Visitor, skip ahead. Trade production. Hold still, skip. Talk to your father, skip. Internal affairs, eternal affairs. It's bad that I've gotten to memorize where this stuff is. Okay, visit her. Skip. I'll try to find a way. Skip. Internal affairs and reflexes. And then we tin court. Okay, that's week five. Week five. Return. Okay. We got week six through ten. No, it's not. It's not. Okay, week six. Week six. Okay, so trade production. You unlocked a new outfit. Skip ahead. Call the guards. Skip ahead. Attain court. Skip ahead. Wear the tuxedo. Okay, week seven. Accounting archery. Visit the treasury. Skip ahead. Archery, archery. Invest. Do it. Skip ahead. Hey, we become a magical girl. We became magical in behind the scenes. Archery, archery. Okay, this is week nine. Visit the tomb. Then reflexes, reflexes. Offer him money. Make a counter offer. Visit tomb. Um, then we want to save. Or return.
Why do you ask, Pop? You think that it? You think it is? Also, I've got a six average now for this stream. I had a seven for like the past thirty days. Eh, whatever. It happens. Week twenty. Have to clear stuff off from later. Okay. Week 11. Reflex in the morning, dance in the afternoon. Play with your toys. Dance, lore. Why did I just see what I think I saw? Did I click the wrong button? I clicked the wrong button, didn't I? Okay, load. Okay, reflexes dance. You're eating food? What you eating? What are you eating? Play with toys. Classes, dance, and then lore. Politely decline. Visit tomb. I haven't eaten all day. Probably should have something to eat in a little bit. Week 13. Lore and lore. Meditation and div and divine. That's all I'm gonna say. Meditation and divine. You had a meatball grinder? Lucky. I'm hungry. <laughs> Play sports. Okay, got a new outfit. Religious doctrine. Play sports. And we want to go save. Return. Yeah, Pops is going to hate uh, editing this. I'm going to tell you now. Boost economics. Okay, lore, herbs. Lore, herbs. I will parade and I will make a speech. And then we we'll attend court. Then herbs and herbs. Someone scandalous. Then we uh, attend court. Battleful medicine and herbs.
and shame her. And noble plots. Play with toys. Poison in the morning. Battle for medicine in the evening. Raise the taxes. That's what the next thing is. And play with toys. Then we do poison in the morning and herbs in the afternoon. Unlock a new outfit. We want to pardon him. And then we want to play with the toys. Jesse, you're making me jealous. I just want you to know that. Log. Save game. 20. 20. Gotta really this is all the way down here. There's an entire section of that guy that's missing around week. Okay, that explains it. Yeah, you're making me jealous, Jesse. I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> I'll go get food in a little bit. After we're done with this, I'll get food, and then we'll start on uh, Nightmare Fuel. Athletics running. Athletics running. That's hilarious. Ignore it. Sneak out. Running. And running in the afternoon for week 22. Send him to his grandfather. Sneak out. Sense magic and then running. Uh, other way, sense magic and then running. Don't know why, but I'm gonna follow it, whatever. A reject her. And then you're gonna sneak out again. Sense magic, sense magic. Send assassins to kill her. And we sneak out again. Wield magic, resist magic. Wield magic, resist magic. And we sneak out again. This should be turn... Okay, week 26. Week 25. Return. Okay. We have to week 30 now. Next is swords and lore. Swords and lore. Blame. Execute. Name. Sneak out. Herbs in the morning.
herbs in the morning and then resist magic in the afternoon. Go to Sudbury and sneak out. Uh, wield magic and then sense magic. Side with her. Offer to help. Sneak out. Okay. We want to be a magical girl. Swords and swords. Swords and swords. Okay, so this is where we failed last time. Uh, go with her. Hey, that's why we didn't have the herbs. Okay. She's not a complete idiot. She gets back up and keeps moving, but she's limping now and clearly slower. Support her. The two of you manage to return to the castle safely before the week's end, but with no time for any extra activities. And then we put on the economics outfit and trade and production. That was a thing, trade and production now. Like you have that really exciting thing and then all of this. Elodie, where's my daughter? I'm right here. You were, you went to the old forest? What were you thinking? You could have been killed. That's so sweet. Sneak out anyway. Okay, and save. I can't type a zero for certain reasons. That it turns off my uh, my chat and then I have to retype a zero again. My voice is already gone, by the way. Uh, wield magic swords. Wield magic and swords. Swords. Then we're gonna sneak out again. A freak gust of wind blows- something blows out all the candles in the room. How strange. There must be an open window somewhere. Sneak out. Uh, sense magic and resist magic. Things have been so unsettled lately. Everyone's on edge. We need something cheerful. You could hold a tournament. What a good idea. Knights, jousting, musicians, all sorts of competitions. Everyone loves a contest. What will you offer prizes to the winner? Employment. <laughs> it's a recruitment drive. Someone on hall duty is being lazy. Emergent house, I believe it was sent with a shipment down the Cabal ri River. Chocolates! With our compliments, the House of Cray Craylet. 
We... I wonder if dogs was one of the things. Save it for later. And we sneak out. We're almost done. I don't have to get to week 40, really. Resist magic, wield magic. This week of the general tournament, nobles and commoners alike have turned out to compete against each other. People will be pleased. Player choice, none. One of the stewards apparently had an incredibly sweet tooth and dared to steal a piece of your recently re received chocolates. He had a sweet tooth. The chocolates were poisoned. When you ask questions at the merchant house, it's probably sent you the present never existed. Someone has tried to kill you, but you don't know who. I mean, that's the way it always is. Sneak out. Resist magic in the morning. And then wield magic. Sense magic in the afternoon. My voice is just gone right now. It's there, I know it is. Uh, week 34. Resist and then sense. Should it's just only I have nothing else to learn from them. Green, I trust you're well. Plutal or coup requires allies, signals, coordination. Assassins work alone, they leave far fewer traces. Fine, get back to work. This is a war fleet. Okay, let's recruit soldiers. Stay in the capital. Sneak out. And then we put on the Lumen outfit. Back to being a magical. Wield magic and then decoration. Finally getting that decoration skill up in here. Okay. Sneak out, why not? Okay, save here. Week 35. The rest of this is just, you can do the whole uh, decoration thing if you want, it's fine. After this week, it's not gonna matter what we do. Decoration, decoration. Yeah, decoration, decoration for you. 36. Okay, your coastline's under att attack. You do not expect the handsome man decked in jewels who now stands before you. A man announced by your servants as Togami, king of the... of that... Is he really the king? And he's a lumen too. What sort of game? The winner takes control of Nova. The loser dies. If you meet me in a formal Lumo challenge, I'll call off the evasion even if I win. Really? It's your crystal.
Okay, so we accept his terms. You have you still have to use magic weapon, but you can't grab him and bang his head against the floor. Magic sword. The final strike of your moon blade parts his head from his shoulders. You have won. Then we go back to being a kid. Sneak out. <laughs> Look at that. We won. We did it. We won. Instrument and voice. It's not as easy to expel a foreign army from your lands, particularly when their leadership is falling apart. Uh, I have no idea what to do with it. And then we attend services? Instrument and voice. There's something going on no one wants to tell you about. Servants avoid your eyes and scurry away. Ministers converse in low worried tones. Your territory is secure, no more attacks are in our way, so what could be wrong? Well, that was fun. Only two weeks remain before your birthday celebration and your official coronation is queen. Have you done enough to build a stable Nova? An extravagant feast. Let's go visit Juliana. You didn't need to know. We're here to train you. You don't need to, you don't need to know any more than that. Let it go. Be like frozen. Let it go. Okay, we do the same thing again. The instrument and the voice. Castle is buzzing with preparations for your upcoming coronation. Ministers press you with details for your favorite colors and flowers and so on. You're happy to collaborate with your designers to ensure that you're showing off with the best possible effect. You're still so young, after all. Good design will help you a lot in making you look like a queen. Others are more interested in the subject of your marriage. Whoever, whomever you decide to marry will elevate to the highest ranks of the nobility, which will mean a major shift in the balance of power. Therefore, everyone is talking about the top candidates, even though you're under no obligation to marry so young. Tolerist? Uh, one option. Be a greater benefit to him. There's Banian. About 10 years older than you. There's Kiron. Except of course that you were responsible for the death of his mother. Mother. If you ever found that out. There's Kevin. The outlier is Gwen Gwendolyn's half-brother Ancient, who's only eight years older. He's only eight years old. Then there's the most recent letter you received from Bryony, which was all about how clever and strong and wonderful you are. You rescued her from a terrible monster, after all. It's apparently the most romantic thing that's happened in her entire life. While you'll need to marry eventually, you are still very young. You should put this decision off till later. However, clear secession contributes to the stability of your dominion. Are you leaning towards any option? Let's go with Bryony. There's no time to pursue the thought at the moment, but perhaps in the future. Play sports. 
And then we do decoration and decoration. Toga, toga. Decoration and decoration. Week 40. Done. At this time last year, you were celebrating your 14th birthday. You were in the school garden, surrounded by your friends. A teacher brought you tea and cakes while a wealthy merchant's son wove a crown of flowers for your head. It doesn't matter so much that you were a princess then. Your title was something for the future. Many of your peers would be duchesses or earls or the like someday, but not then. You were children. Your parents could not attend on the actual day, but they did send wonderful gifts. Some for you and some for you to share. And a week later, the game, they came for your visit, and your mother took you with her through the countryside in a splendid carriage. It was the last time you would ever see her. You wonder if, wherever she is, she can see you now. You're 15 years old, a legal adult. You have worked and studied and suffered and prepared, and now the time has come. You kneel before the priestess, barely hearing her words as she recites the blessings. She calls upon the gods to deliver peace, wisdom, and prosperity to you, and through you to all of Nova. And then she calls upon you for your oath of rulership. Will you guide and govern and protect your people to the best of your ability according to the law and customs? I will. Will you, to the best of your power, uphold your, the ideals of love, honor, justice, and mercy? I will. Lord's Lady Assembled, I protect you, your undoubted queen, who has sworn you her loyalty. You who have come to her, you have come to give her homage. Will you do the same? One at a time, the head of each duchy approaches your throne and kneels to swear his or her service to you and your heirs. I give you Elodie, daughter of Fidelia, your true sovereign. What say you all? Long live the queen. Thank you, I will. Once his daughter was secure on her throne, Jocelyn returned to his birthplace to focus on his duties as Duke of Caloris. He was pursued by many women, but showed them little interest in her marrying, direct directing them instead to his brother, the Duke of Manzoba. Following Elodie's victory of the Shanjian king, the public opinion of Lumens rose to a height they hadn't been seen in a hundred years. Young children were dressed up in play as being magical kings and queens. Free from the need of her secrecy, the Duchess Juliana and the Priestess Selene were able to announce their shared magical powers and their love. At Elodie's prompting, the lovers pledged their devotion to each other in a private ceremony, after which Selene retired from the priesthood to accompany her wife, to Urusol. As neither of them intended to bear children of the body, Juliana made arrangements for her niece, Brienne, to be declared the next heir to the Duchy of Ursol, as well as the inheritor of her crystal. Brienne's mother, Corisand, Chris hoped that the training necessary to make her flighty daughter into a future magical girl warrior would keep her out of worse trouble. I gotta read. After the fell of age, relations with Sanjia remained tense. First came the recriminations and demands from the queen, devastated the death of her husband, which Eleni ignored. Next came the settler approaches to the quiet gratitude and offers for alliances for ministers who were thrilled to see Togami gone. Eleni ignored them also, which was just as well since the next thing to arrive was the preserved head of one of their traitorous ministers, sent by the queen of Sanja, Sanjia as a warning. There were no sign of war in the immediate future, and there was likely to be an alliance either. There was not likely to be an alliance either. One of the young queen's closest confidants was Brienne of Maid, of Mead, whom Elodie formally appointed as her royal lady-in-waiting and less formally as the lady of the royal bedchamber. The two carried out a very public flirtation, complete with moonlit serenades on their balconies and the ritual slaying of imaginary dragons. Both women did marry in time, but they never gave their affection for each other. The invention of the printing press sparked the beginning of a new age of literacy and knowledge. No longer were books the sole preserve of the noble and wealthy. Now information and ideas could be easily passed from one idea one place to another. As the birthplace of our invention, Nova was at the center of the storm of change. How much is there to read? As a Lumen, it was Elodie's responsibility to defend Nova from the monstrous threat threats. She decided that the monsters within the realm were every bit as dangerous as those outside, and thus set herself to the task of conquering the old forest. Each monster would have to be identified and carefully set in order to defeat it without upsetting the balance. It would take many years to reach the heart of the forest, but Elodie was undaunted, and thus Queen Elodie's legacy stretched into the future. I read fast, I can't help it. And here's everybody who worked on it. We win!
Yay, we did it. Died in five different ways. Died in 11 different ways. Broke off an engagement. Been sent woman flowers by a woman. Oh my god, my... I, like, everything hurts. Jeez. Oh, that's adorable. The coronation. Okay. 